Hi everyone, and welcome, or welcome back, to our channel. I'm Maya Zamenska, an oceanographer who joined the Turtle Watch 2.0 team back in 2022. Even though I'm not always in the field, I've been proudly contributing to our project remotely ever since. Yep, that's me right there, swimming in the stunning waters of the Red Sea, doing what I love most, monitoring sea turtles and taking photos that will later help us identify individuals. In fact, the very images you are seeing now are part of our signature intro. Pretty cool, right? But today, I want to tell you the story of Fernando, a green turtle who lives in the beautiful Coraya Bay. He was first spotted on July 16, 2016, by Sabina M. Horn, and since then we've documented 34 sightings of it. The most recent one, that was on October 16, 2024, by Santa Strunk. As a green turtle, Fernando feeds mostly on algae and seagrass, like you can see here. It's fascinating to watch these gentle grazers play such a key role in keeping seagrass meadows healthy and thriving. Fernando is sadly easy to recognize since that very first sighting, he's had a small cut on the back edge of his shell near its back flippers. And unfortunately, he suffered another injury that you won't see in this video. New wounds on his carapace, most likely caused by a boat strike. Thanks to the ongoing collaboration and commitment of Coraya divers to marine turtle conservation, we are closely monitoring Fernando. And the good news is that he seems to be recovering well. We are keeping a close eye on him. Now, you might be wondering, how old is Fernando? Well, we don't actually know. And we also don't know if Fernando is a male or a female. Turtles don't show clear external signs of sex until they reach maturity. And without a genetic proof, it's hard to tell. So for now, Fernando remains a bit of a mystery. If you're ever snorkeling or diving in Coraya Bay and come across Fernando, we'd love to hear from you. Send us your sightings, your photos, your videos. Every piece of data helps us learn more and protect these incredible creatures. Every turtle has a story. Every photo you share can make a difference. Let's keep watching. Let's keep protecting. And who knows, maybe you will be the next person to meet Fernando. Oh, and did you know that Fernando is one of the turtles available for symbolic adoption? It's a beautiful way to support our project and help us contribute to our conservation work. If you're curious and want to learn more, just visit the adoption section on our website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more turtle tales from the Red Sea. See you next time.